Science, technology, engineering, math are usually high paying jobs, but the percentage of women in those fields has remained below 30% for decades. And as we celebrate Women's History Month, we introduce you to a scientist who's making her mark and encouraging others to reach for the stars. I'm an astronomer and also a manager of our uh, 2.4 meter telescope facility. High above Socorro County, perched on a summit, sits the Magdalena Ridge Observatory. This is the base of the telescope, Daniel. Eileen Ryan runs it. Now that moves 10 times faster than a normal astronomical telescope. Overseeing everything from the science revolving around the telescope to maintenance and everything in between. My day is divided up between regular astronomical research, work for the military and space situational awareness and working with students and also education and public outreach. The research facility built by New Mexico Tech is accessible only by driving up an eight mile road. The telescope's mirror built for the Hubble Space Telescope mounted on a very fast moving base. We have the only working spare Hubble telescope mirror. But much like the road to the mountaintop, the road to where she is today wasn't always an easy climb. I can remember being asked in the second grade uh, with the rest of my classmates about what we wanted to be when we grew up. And uh, when I said scientist or astronaut, I actually had the teacher tell me that th those were not acceptable professions for women, that I should really reconsider doing something more, you know, traditional. But she wouldn't be held back. Inspired as a child watching the Apollo moon missions and reading science fiction and astronomy magazines, she earned a master's degree in astronomy and a PhD in geosciences. Those studies offering chances to experiment. I got to go to NASA facilities and essentially blow up little targets the size of soccer balls. And then put them back together again and try to understand exactly what the fracture mechanics and engineering involved in that process was. That then led to uh, being very interested in computer simulations that would take what I did in the laboratory and extend it to real life. That real life experiment, NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, in 2022. It was a goal of mine to incorporate at least one spacecraft mission into my career. So when the opportunity arose to actually, for the first time, not to do a lab laboratory impact experiment, but here we had the opportunity to actually send a spacecraft the size of a vending machine that would impact into a real asteroid and then observe it. Ryan also works with students, helping them to realize their goals. I like to be a role model for them, but you don't have to be someone like a super Einstein or a very different type of person from what they th themselves are to, to achieve goals in science and engineering. It's a fun job. She has a message for kids today, watching the next generation of off-world explorers take to the moon. I would tell them that science is really exciting, you know, if you are excited about a particular area of study or you think you'd make a great engineer or a terrific biologist or astronomer even, go for it. I'm Genevieve Glass, KOAT Action, 7 News. Of the next projects at Magdalena Ridge is tracking an asteroid that researchers thought might hit Earth in 2036. Thanks in part to Ryan's work, we now know it's not expected for at least 100 years.